In the Bantamweight division of UFC Vegas 84, you got Marcus McGee taking on Gaston Bojanos, who got a win in his first fight. He's back. He's 7-3, and three, McGee 8-1. and one. Both good fighters, at least so far in their career, earned the right to be in the UFC. And they're both kind of, you know, young in the sport. Now, McGee uh, is one inch taller, 5'8". He's 33. Bojanos, if I'm even saying that right, is 31 uh, years old. So... They're still both right in that prime window. Equal reach. Both guys stand right-handed. Uh, Gaston, I'll call him, lands 4.2 significant strikes per minute, 3.4 for Marcus McGee. So activity-wise, Gaston has the edge. Neither guy landing takedowns yet uh, in a UFC setting. Now, McGee has two fights. 100% takedown defense, so no takedowns landed, none given up. Both relatively quick fights. The last fight was a first-round KO against J.P. Byes, and he beat Journey Newsom. Uh, by sub in the second round before that. So two guys you've at least heard of. Now Gaston uh, beat Aaron Phillips by decision 63-17 to in significant strikes. He did give up three takedowns. That's concerning, but that shouldn't be a problem in this fight. Very tough to figure out because it seems like it's going to be a stand-up striking affair. Uh, McGee gives up more uh, significant strikes per minute uh, than Gaston right? Gaston's going to land more. McGee's going to be a little slower, but McGee's got the power punch. And uh, if it does go to the ground for any reason, uh, McGee has proven that he can get a submission. So leaves me with no choice but to go with Marcus McGee. And plus, you know, with the stats, it's early, right? One guy's got two fights, the other's got one. So the stats haven't really built up yet. So we really don't know. So I'm going to go with the power and finishing capability of Marcus McGee to get the win here and he is favored so it makes sense i like marcus mcgee to win this thing to move to 901 bantamweight division usc vegas 84